managed to do another tutorial. This is the final look. If you see it or not. Okay, let's refill it. I hope you like my crazy hair. I love it. I did it for a party I'm going tonight at. Mm, that didn't sound well, but it's okay. Um, so, the makeup I chose to do was not at all as planned, but I just played with colors and this is the final result. I really hope you will like it. So stay tuned and see what I've used and what I didn't use and what I used and what I didn't use. Peace out and spread love. <laughs> I'm going to start my makeup by applying MAC Strobe Cream Hydran Lumino. It has golden light reflection shades in it. I love this base. It's very hydrating. I use it on the whole face, uh, even in my concealer area. I don't use it on my eyelid because if your eyelids are already greasy, you're gonna affect the stain powder of your eye makeup. But otherwise, on the rest of the face, we can use it. I wouldn't recommend it for greasy or oily skin because I think the same. The face makeup wouldn't last so long. So long. But for the other types of faces, this is a very good base. For foundation, we're gonna use Ila Masca Skin Base Foundation. It's in the shade 6.5 and this shade is a little bit dark for me right now but uh, I'm gonna lighten it up using a concealer which I don't know where you can get it. A friend bought it for, for me it's dual contouring very some okay we're gonna use macro longer concealer in the shade and w20 w stands for warm and always pick warm colors when you want to correct your under eye area Also, I'm going to use the Prolonger Concealer to put on my lid. And now powder. We're going to use MAC Soft Focus. I'm using this Kim by Susanna Petre and it's number 16, this brush. Next, we're gonna use MAC Show Gold. MAC Show Gold has rose gold reflections. I love it. I'm putting it on the highest points of my cheeks. Sorry if my English isn't that okay and if my the words I use are, are not very casual for you but and because I just started doing this in, in English it's not so easy so sometimes I'll goof but it's all right. So I'm blending it a little bit downwards so I get a glow effect. I love glow effects. And especially since if you're a makeup artist, you can pass with exaggerated stuff. For sculpting, we're gonna use MAC Give Me Sun. It's a very sunny sculpting powder. Um, it's quite warm, but um, well, we're going to make it work. Okay. So I take it on my brush. This is also from Susanna. It's number 22. I take it on my brush 
and then I take the excess off in order for me to not make any stains. So as you can see, I have a natural shading part, uh, area, but usually you should feel your own face and see where the bone ends and where it has that hole. And there you should first put the brush so you can... How do we say in English that? So you can deepen it. Just, just follow your anatomy. And then I do like a blending movement to blend it in the skin across. I don't know what which area is this. Sorry, in English. <laughs> Where is it here? And also a little bit here, although my hair will cover it all. Ila Masca Tremble Blush. These guys are really pigmented, so I take it on the brush, like that. And then also I take the pigment off for good. And then I put it in between the blusher and the highlighter, just a second. For my brows, I'm going to use an Anastasia shadow. It's in the shade medium brown. I want to contour them so they look natural. So I'm gonna contour the lower part. I'm gonna put a little bit of um, mascara in them. It's Beguil, Beguil from also from that. Urban Decay Eyeshadow Potion. We're gonna use this beauty. We love this palette. I think the colors are great. You need more colors than this, but um, I don't know. Man, these colors are amazing. I love the pigmentation. I love their textures. These ones are a little bit tricky to use, but if you use your uh, fingertips, it's okay. We probably are going to use one of these ones and let's start okay so we're gonna use moon dust and just blend it a little bit towards the crease but not in the crease okay and also in the inner corners and just extend it to give it a glowy look then uh, the brush I used is Ludovic number 12. It's a flat but a little bit fluffy brush. The color Shy. I'm taking it on the tip of my brush, then taking the excess off and then in the crease. So with your eye open, just fix your tip of the brush and just pull it upwards and inwards and upwards bossy and put it in the crease Nastel 355 Also, we're gonna use Bossy 
on the outer corner but with tapping motions not with blending ones so we get more intensity okay and of course you're gonna get it a little bit in the crease just pull it a little bit and then take the other blending brush and blend and now with the other blending brush the, fl the fluffier one I'm gonna blend it the color blessed and just bless it on my eye I'm not doing I'm tapping but I'm also pulling away because if you put too much it doesn't look that great the color fling 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 which is a reddish color and put it in between blessed and bossy We'll use the brush Kim by Susanna Petre ESQ04 the color Coco. We will use this on the lower lid. Always start with the outer corner when working out with a darker shade because even if you screw up it won't show that much. Uh, in comparison is if you start from here okay and we're gonna go right now I'm pulling the color and now we're gonna connect it in the outer corner since I went all v-shaped I'm gonna take the blending brush that I used before this one but I'm gonna take color on it so I'm gonna take shy which I used as a transition shade and just blend a little bit the outer corner I'm coming back with bossy in the crease. I'm gonna use this pigment from Mehron. It's called Peridot. I love this pigment. I've been using it on my clients and I just love it. I don't know what else to tell you about it. I'm gonna uh, spray my brush with a little bit of MAC Prep and Prime and I'm using the pigment um, here on my lower lash line and the space I left open taking it a little bit also here
on my waterline I'm gonna use Melchior Professional pencil in the color prune so I um, usually use this pencil on my lips actually this is the first time I'm using it on my waterline I'm going to tap Coco a little bit above this pencil because I think it has a lot of red in it and I don't want my eyes to look very tired. I am going to use glitter of lashes in number 9. They're really natural and they have a flick. I think I'm gonna like them. We're using Allure Lash Fix Mascara. I'm using the Masca Mascara again. Since we did the lower part low, of course we're gonna put mascara on also here to contour it. And also at the base of our natural lashes to connect them with the false ones. With black truffle we're just gonna blend a little bit the, the upper lash line. I don't want to put eyeliner on so that's why I'm using an, a black eyeshadow because we have to connect the lashes with the rest of the makeup but uh, I want a soft effect so after I put it at the base of the lash line I just blend it a little bit upwards so we don't have any kind of lines as a last step for the eye makeup, I'm gonna use PP <laughs> Pepe 04 from Makeup Atelier Paris. I love it, it's one of my favorite pigments. You will see why. And I'm using Kim by Susanna Petre EP05. So I'm using it underneath my. corner Ila Masca in the shade Fantasy this is a peachy cute color so Miss and Mrs number 13 I used it on the edges just to give more volume Estelle Auder number 05 Pure Color Vinyl Rose Lacquer and I'm gonna put it on the center Oh, I want 
I don't know why I'm talking because I'm not going to put this in the clip. Now, guys, we are going to you.